Hello, my name is Benedict Ofo. Welcome to my channel. Today we talk about this is called oats. Oats is one of the cereal crops, like you have maize, rice, sorghum, barley, etc. Oats is a vital cereal crop that is used widely used as food. It is used in the production of bread, biscuits, etc., etc. Today, here, I'm going to introduce Miss Chanel to take us through step-by-step -step method of planting and growing oats. Miss Chanel is doing her master's degree in our laboratory. She's an expert. She uses oats for research. If you look here, you can see this has been cut. She has treated this oats with her hormones and then she has cut them for further analysis. But today she will explain to us how she plants oats and how it grows step by step. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you are missing a lot. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. Do subscribe so that we can serve you better, so that we can, you know, bring more content for you. Stay tuned as we watch this channel take us through how she plants and grow oats in the laboratory. This is planting oat seeds. So what I do is I just have a tray with some soil and pots and water and I have seeds, oat seeds that I soaked the day before planting, um, which just helps them to germinate quicker and um, to avoid um, some of the seeds not germinating. So then what I do is I first start with adding some soil to the pot. See this pot I've already done. So for this pot then I'll add soil. Okay, so just leave about one or two centimeters from the top. And then I'll add water. Just to, there's some water in there, but I'll just add some water so that the soil can start soaking up the water. And then my seeds that I've soaked the day before, I'll just empty the water out. Okay, then I'll just take some of my soaked seeds, just pour them out so that they're easier to grab. And then I'll just start putting them into the soil. You can really just spread them out. It really doesn't matter how many seeds you put in. Obviously you don't want to put too many, but you can just spread them out a bit. Just fill up with soil or cover it with soil. So I just press it on gently. I don't compress it too much. Um, just make it evenly so that all the seeds are covered nicely with the soil. And then once this is done, I normally just put them in a nice lighted area. And what I would then do is I would just give them water twice a week and every other week I would also on, so I normally water on Mondays and Fridays and every other week I just add some fertilizer to my water, not too much, um, but just some fertilizer so the plants stay nice and healthy. But yeah, once this is done they no normally germinate within three to four days and then you must just look after them well, water them well, twice a week is usually enough and just add some fertilizer every other week. As you can see, these are my oat plants that I planted previously. And as you can see, they look very healthy. They are now two weeks old. So um, what I'm planning to do with these plants is I'm gonna infect them next week when they are three weeks old. 
with a bacteria, Pseudomonas pornophagians. So as you can see for now these plants are still very healthy and they're growing nicely. And if you're planning to plant your own oat plants, they have very nice uses. I'm sure everyone knows that oats are commonly used as cereals, in chocolate bars. They have many uses as food for people. They're also very nutritious. And um, many people, uh, farmers specifically, uh, also use oats for livestock feed uh, because of their high nutritional content. Um, of the cereals, oats are actually one of them um, have a really nice nutritional content and nutritional value. Unfortunately, they're not so popular in South Africa because we have maize, so maize is more popular, but oats is very nutritional and if you want to grow your own oats, um, I would suggest it. They are really nice, they're not finicky, they grow very, very well. And if you just look after them and treat them well, then they'll definitely grow well. Yeah, so the plants are very healthy. Um, basically, I just water them twice a week, every Monday and Friday, um, and put them in a good lighted area. As I said, oats aren't really difficult to grow. They don't struggle and they don't really die quickly. They're actually very sturdy plants. So if you just look after them well and water them, well, not over water them, but water them, like I said, about twice a week, then they should grow very, very well. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, share this video. It is very, very important that we preserve our oats. It's very, very important that we conserve our oats. As I always say, population is growing. Which other way can we mitigate? Which other way can we contribute in making sure that we don't die of hunger? It's by doing researches like this to grow better oats, oats that are more resistant to diseases. Thank you. Bye.